So Black Ops 3 just had a pretty significant update and to some people it might just be a regular update but if you really are into Call of Duty and you really have been following the waves and trends of Call of Duty from the previous year you know that this is more than just an update okay. A couple of things that I want to talk to you guys about in this video and cover this update on I'm going to show you there is a brand new map Redwood but now it's with snow so it's called Redwood Snow. Infected is going to be coming tomorrow into the game finally Infected in Black Ops 3 will be enabled tomorrow on Tuesday of mine over on twitter by the name of depth sent me an image and well this was sent to several people about a week ago and this is what he sent me so snowblind would be the name of the event and there are new skins for specialists obviously that would normally be believable nothing related to zombies there's gonna be two new weapons a mercenary ar a sniper xpr 50 and uh well those are gonna be the two weapons the new map is redwood ice not redwood snow my bad redwood ice which we are going to be showcasing in this video then there's also going to be infected as you can see here a new camo and all of this will be unlocked via supply jobs this was sent on february 27th and we are in march so basically this has been sent for about over a week now it leads me to believe that that is legit because redwood ice if you go to custom games you won't be able to find it on the regular game because it is not in the regular game yet it will be added tomorrow but just due to the update when you go to maps this is obviously done on purpose Treyarch wants you to search through the game and find stuff you have right here redwood snow wait it was actually called redwood snow <laughs> but whatever they got it somewhat right they got the entire basically the idea of it right so redwood snow is the new map experience fan favorite redwood in a frosty new way just for this i'm going to take off the minutes just so we can actually explore the map a little bit and we're going to commence all right here we go so this is redwood snow <sighs> This is super, super interesting to me. Oh my god. All right. Before we even walk around this map and check it out, I just want to let you know, if you've been around Call of Duty, you know that this is a teaser slash Easter egg for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Winter is far behind us, guys, okay? Spring is literally around the corner. Summer is in a couple months. There's no need for them to bring Redwood Snow into Call of Duty Black Ops 3. If you were to ask me and if you were to ask the majority of the community, it, it's definitely a Black Ops 4 reference or a teaser. I'm going to read to you guys a very, very famous quote from the Black Ops series, and it goes as follows. Listen only to the sound of my voice let your mind relax let your thoughts drift let the bad memories fade let peace be upon you surrender yourself to your dreams let them wash over you like the gentle waves of the blue ocean let them envelope you comfort you <laughs> they use that to promote black ops 3 as well i believe before it was released this is the snow this is this redwood snow has to be a reference to that we could you guys on your spare time you can tweet me my twitter's down in the description if you find any clues in this map if you don't find them today you can probably start looking tomorrow maybe the clues or easter eggs are not enabled in the map yet just keep one thing in mind this was not done by accident okay this was purposely done so you can start thinking and getting ready for Black Ops 4. Treyarch never disappoints, man. They are the king of teasers. They are the king of Call of Duty developers. That is just what they do. This is what they do best. This is the forest, Redwood. Oh, man. This is insane, dude. This is really cool. The fact that this, this game almost three years later is doing this is it, it just it's mind-blowing and as you can see everything has been frozen tomorrow we are getting a brand new assault rifle a brand new sniper rifle and god knows what the camels for the specialists are gonna be if we're gonna have new weapon camels or whatever it should be fairly fairly interesting as you can see it it is the same map so far nothing nothing new here really it's just i want to say that tomorrow they might actually add some easter eggs or some clues in reference to call of duty black ops 4 i don't know i really don't know but i just want you to know stay tuned to the channel because tomorrow the heat is about to drop boys it's gonna get cray cray so i'm gonna check this one last room here i don't think i found really anything for the patch notes they don't have much they simply have the following general performance updates multiplayer infected new game mode at the start of a match one player is randomly chosen as the first infected whose goal is to infect other players yada yada you guys know how infected works and then you had redwood snow which is the new map enter the snow-capped landscape of redwood snow to experience something colder from the map you know 
and love. So if these new weapons and these new specialists, you know, camels come out or whatnot, etc., etc., all of that will be implemented and added into that actual patch notes. Right now, they don't want to put it because this is what Treyarch does. They throw an update on Monday, find some clues during Monday, and then on Tuesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10, 10 a.m. Pacific Time, you get all the goodies from the update. Before we end this video, I put some bots because I'm a noob and you can't play without bots in this map yet. So I just kind of want to get a feel of the map, even though it is the same map identical. I wanted to put some bots just to pretend I'm playing online and pretend I have some friends that want to play with me. But of course, you cannot play this game publicly and you probably wouldn't know about this map unless you probably watched this video or saw it somewhere from Twitter or something. This is not meant for you to know right away. This is meant for you to find out if you actually search the game files or whatnot. But most of us don't really search game files. All right, I almost, I just died to a bot, man. What? <laughs> Imagine yourself in a frozen forest, Hollow. Listen only to the voice. Imagine yourself in a frozen forest with a bunch of bots pretending to have friends and still getting killed by bots. The beginning months of the year, especially the, you know, after February, not so much, but after March, April, May, those are the months where you really start getting these crazy teasers. And this is probably going to be the first official little kick in the nuts for, for, for the community saying, hey, we're about to, we're about to get hyped. I'm actually very glad they kept going with the uh, Black Ops franchise. You know, the series, I think it's great. Black Ops has done nothing but great things for, for the Call of Duty community. If Black Ops 3 was great, Black Ops 4 will only be better, man. Especially if it's gonna be semi boots on the ground or boots on the ground, whatever it's gonna be, modern day. That, that's gonna be interesting, man. I think it's gonna be a great year. And I know we say this every single year. We've said it some of the years and sometimes we have been right. A lot of the other times we've said it, we've been absolutely wrong. I mean, this year we thought we were gonna be amazing. Best year in COD in, you know, the last seven years. And well, it's probably one of the fastest dying years in Call of Duty history. It had a really great start because of the whole boots on the ground started again and World War II and the World War II era. But I guess it just turns out that World War II is not the best, the best era for Call of Duty, just due to the limitations that you get, uh, or whatnot. Alright guys, check it out man, I don't want to keep playing with bots, I'm depressed. So I guess that's gonna be pretty much it, I wanted to really get into the Redwood snow map and, uh, see what it, you know, what it has to offer. I want to say that probably not everything is enabled in the map yet, as the update is supposed to go live tomorrow officially and have everything else alongside with what I've showed you in this video. Keep an eye out for the game. Let me know what you guys think, your comments, thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. If you're excited for Call of Duty, leave me a like on this video and let's just pray that Treyarch comes in clutch for the boys because God damn it, Call of Duty needs it. <laughs> Hopefully you are excited and I'll catch you tomorrow with some probably new weapon gameplay if they do come out or whatever it is. Um, I'll be seeing you. So, take care.